Hi friends, it's time for another Bible story time with my favorite book, my Spark Story Bible. Today we're going to be on page 302. We have read 300 pages together of our Bible of the stories about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. And I am so excited that we have done that work together. Well, we have another great story today about a vineyard, about the place where they grow grapes. And so before we can read that story, we have four actions that we do together each time we're together for Bible story time. The first thing we'll do is point up to God the Father. Then we'll make a cross for Jesus the Son and then flames for the Holy Spirit with a thumbs up. Amen. Will you join me, please? Here we go. We begin in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. So today's story is called the parable of the vineyard. Can you say the word parable? Parable. Yes, that means a special story that Jesus tells us to learn more about God. So here we go. It's just a short one today. So listen very carefully. And then we're going to pull out our little green wormy and find the wormy on our page. Here we go. The Pharisees were a group of people who did not like what Jesus said and treated Jesus badly. Jesus told the Pharisees a story to help them understand that what they were doing was wrong. Jesus said, a man built a vineyard and planted grapes. He hired workers to care for the grapes. And when the grapes were ripe, the man sent his servants one by one to get the grapes. But each time the workers watching the vineyard hurt the servants. The man tried to send his own son, but they hurt him too. The Pharisees realized that Jesus was talking about them. And every time God sent someone to help them learn more about God, they were mean to that person instead of listening to what that person had to say. Jesus was there to save them, but they were not listening. So here's our story today. Here's the workers by the vineyard. Those are supposed to be the grape vines. Grapes grow on vines that are very close to the ground. They're kind of in tall rows where the vines grow up. Big and tall, but low enough on the ground so that people can pick them and pick the grapes off of them. And here comes the worker, the servant, to help pick the grapes because they're ripe and ready. And the workers are even going to hurt all the servants and then even the owner's own son. And when you see the green wormy, I want you to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle your wormy finger. There he is, looky, the wormy's right there, and he's looking at those workers, wondering why they're so mean. As we approach the season of Lent and the time when we, um, on the weeks before Easter, we'll be reminded about how God is going to sacrifice, is going to offer his own son just like in this story of the vineyard, to the people who are being mean for the good of everyone. So the next time you eat grapes, I don't know if you like green grapes or red grapes. Which one do you like better? Oh, well, I like red grapes. Those are the ones that I like the best, but I'll eat green ones too. So the next time you're eating grapes, I want you to remember how much God loves you. And this parable, this story that we heard about how God is going to use his own son to help even the mean people to learn more about God. So the next time you eat grapes, you can be reminded that God loves you and that God loves the whole world enough to use his son to help us all understand that good word. So it's time for us to pray, friends. Why don't you repeat after me? You can put your hands like this or like this and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for the ways that you have used 
your son Jesus to help us all understand your love. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we end our time together the way we began. Please join me. We end in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. As I look ahead next week, next time we're all together for our Zoom Bible story, we will hear about a party, about a wedding banquet where everybody is going to be invited. How fun. I can't wait. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye.